Well, let's dive into the fascinating world of the brain and understand what happens when a child experiences prolonged bullying. When a child goes through prolonged bullying, various parts of their brain can be affected. Let's start with the amygdala, which is like the brain's security guard. It's responsible for processing emotions, especially fear and anxiety. In a child who experiences bullying, the amygdala becomes hyperactive, constantly on high alert and overly sensitive to potential threats. This means that the child may feel anxious, fearful and stressed even in non-threatening situations. Imagine the amygdala as a smoke alarm that goes off too easily, causing the child to be on edge all the time. Next, let's talk about the prefrontal cortex, which is like the CEO of the brain. It's involved in decision making, impulse control and regulating emotions. Prolonged bullying can actually shrink the prefrontal cortex, impairing its ability to function properly. This can result in difficulties with self-control, problem solving and managing emotions. It's like having a CEO who's overwhelmed and can't make the best decisions for the company. Now let's zoom in on the hippocampus, which is like the brain's memory center. It's responsible for forming and storing memories. When a child experiences bullying, the hippocampus can undergo changes that affect memory formation. This can lead to difficulties in remembering details, events, or even academic information. It's like having a faulty memory card that causes the child to struggle with recalling important information. But what about the long-term potential damage? Well, if the bullying continues, it can have serious consequences on the child's mental health and overall well-being. Here are a few potential effects. One, increased risk of developing mental health disorders. Prolonged bullying can increase the risk of developing conditions like anxiety, depression, and post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD. Imagine carrying the weight of negative experiences day in and day out, which can take a toll on one's mental health. Two, social withdrawal and isolation. The constant fear and anxiety caused by bullying can lead to social withdrawal. The child may feel hesitant to make new friends, trust others or participate in social activities. It's like building an invisible wall to protect themselves from potential harm. Three, low self-esteem and self-worth. Bullying can chip away at a child's self-esteem and self-worth. Constant criticism, humiliation and belittlement can make them doubt their abilities and value. It's like having a constant voice in their head telling them they're not good enough. Four, academic difficulties. The stress and emotional toll of bullying can interfere with a child's ability to concentrate, learn and perform academically. They may struggle to focus in class, complete assignments or retain information. It's like trying to study with a storm of negative thoughts swirling in their mind. 5. Physical health problems. The impact of bullying isn't limited to mental health. It can also manifest in physical health issues such as headaches, stomach aches, sleep disturbances and weakened immune system. It's like the body's way of saying, I can't handle this stress anymore. These are just a few examples of the potential effects of prolonged bullying on a child's brain and mental health. It's important to address bullying promptly and provide support to the child to minimize the long-term damage. Remember, every child deserves to grow in a safe and nurturing environment where their brilliant brains can thrive without the shadows of bullying weighing them down.